Hi guys, this is Tejas and this is my new series, Think Serverless. So the entire goal of this series is that we need to think to a new modern way of designing systems where we reduce the dependency on managed servers and think more in the direction of how we can build applications using cloud. So let's start. So the problem for the day is we need to build a API based notification service. So let's jump into the problem. So the problem statement is we need to create a service that can notify users about updates based on subscription model. Uh, for this example, let's take that we are owners of a retail shop and we have a list of customers and we need to notify our customers that suppose maybe our shop is going to be closed on Monday. So it could be as simple as that and we need to notify using email uh, or SMS or any which ways that we want to. So for this problem statement, we'll se send email to our customers. So we are going to proceed with that. So let's see how is the traditional way of designing things. I, I'm, I'm sure most of the companies don't use this, but still like the way that is more traditional. <laughs> so let's start like, suppose we get a request and uh, we have a server that, that is basically a managed server, suppose a machine and we first make a call to database to get the customers and uh, of course we have a code running on the server that will uh, loop through customers and basically send emails one by one to the customers and definitely there are a lot of drawbacks in this system which are basically let's see them first one is basically the managed servers we need to think about the time where server uh, goes down suppose the electricity is off or anything like that definitely that won't be the issue but uh, updates like managing the os updates and all those things second is server cost again the server also needs to be up 24 7 so that whenever the request hits the server it needs to send email so we need to bear the server cost which is of course would be a lot more again it's a single point of failure the server can go down anytime and which is not a desirable experience and definitely this system is not scalable so suppose we become as big as walmart overnight this we are not prepared for that the last thing is handling errors suppose we uh, have an error while sending the emails there is a network issue or there can be many other issues so we need to have a retry logic within our code that will handle errors gracefully. So what is like the more modern way to do things? So let's jump into that. So I'll take the help of AWS to design a serverless system. So the basic prerequisite is you need to know few things about AWS, few uh, basic things about services. What is API Gateway, Lambda, SNS? If you don't know them, I have linked few good videos about them in the description. Definitely watch those. So API Gateway is basically an uh, API uh, which we can call a link that we can call definitely. Lambda is again a function as a service and SNS is a notification service which is again managed by AWS. One good thing that we need to notice in this is all these services are managed service by AWS. So we don't need to own our own servers and we don't need to care about downtime and things like that. So the basic flows go goes like this. We call the API gateway. API gateway triggers the Lambda. Lambda is a piece of code, a function that is managed uh, in a serverless environment. And Lambda basically publishes a message in SNS, which is notification service. And SNS is responsible for sending the emails. So looks pretty great. And again, one good thing is we don't need to care about downtime. We don't need to care about how many hours the server is on. This is all managed by AWS and the cost will definitely will be minimal. So let's just jump into the demo and let's start. So this is our AWS console. Let me go to SNS. So this is our SNS console. So topic is what we need to create. We'll create a topic quickly. And now what we have to do is once we have the list of customers, all we need to do is subscribe to this topic. So we'll create a subscription. Select email.
all i need to do is confirm the subscription so we have our topic now and the subscription is complete so basically this is the thing we have my email id as the subscription point we can have n number of email ids and that can be done via code i am currently doing via console so that process can be speed enough so all we have to do is just publish a message in sns And there we go we oh there is a typo but definitely we got the update that we wanted to and me being the customer i got the update so this is basically done through sns and let's jump to our architecture right away and see we need a lambda again currently what we did is we published the message manually now we want lambda that is the code to do the publishing of the message so let's quickly jump into that So this is our lambda console. So let's quickly create a function. And I'm just going to copy paste the code. It's So all we are doing is we are importing AWS uh, SDK and we are forming an SNS object and all we are doing is SNS.publish and we just need to give the topic ARN. ARN is like the unique identifier for the resource. So this is the SNS that we created and this is our ARN. All we need to do is copy paste it here. Save it. So quickly we can test the lambda. Oh, there is an authorization error. So all we need to do is give the lambda permission to call SNS. So this is the role of lambda. We'll attach policies. and we have attached the policy to our lambda so now let's test it again and now yes we can call the sns topic publish the message in it and we have our update we have my shop update and shop will be closed on monday so this is our lambda and definitely we can add an api gateway to trigger the lambda we can add the trigger and create and add an API gateway to do so so that we can just hit an API and send an SMS uh, email so all we can do is we can hit that API and send an email to our customers so as seen in the demo the entire infrastructure is managed by AWS and we don't need to worry about servers their uptimes the cost of servers all we need to do is we need to pay as per the request that we make so it's pay per use so that's like one of the major advantages of any cloud based provider so one thing that i can think of is we can remove the dependency of lambda as well the minimal code that we have and directly the api gateway can call sns so it would be even more cheaper and whatever the body of api is directly the email or whatever notification is can go likewise As you see, uh, there is a direct API gateway to SNS integration. Let me show you a quick demo. So here is my API gateway, the email API and and 
and these are the configurations that you need to make you, you need to integrate the api gateway with aws sns so as you can see these are the basic configurations that you need to make you need to configure this api gateway to aws service which will be simple notification service and you'll make a post call or whatever that you want to make and the action you need to put as publish you need to publish the message in sns and execution role will be the role as we saw in the lambda we need to give a role and access to the api to publish a message into sns so this role will have the action that will allow uh, to publish into sns and in the url string parameters we need to just specify what the message is going to be message would be method dot request dot body dot body uh, so basic json format and we need to mention the topic arn so again this is our sns and it has an arn unique arn we need to specify the same arn here and uh, just add the subject uh, of the email which can be a constant subject uh, a fixed hard coded value or we can pass that in the api as well and once we call this API again, we can uh, send email to users. So that will be directly a call of API will send emails to the users. So this is our serverless design. And as you see, the main advantage of using serverless is the costing would be really low. The mobile push notifications is 1 million free requests that we get. And after that, there is just uh, 50 cents per million. And worldwide SMS is again like free hundred SMS. SMS nobody uses these days. The cost is pretty low for one lakh emails. We'll just pay two dollars. And again, we can also have an HTTP endpoint that can be integrated with WhatsApp or whatever service that you're using that you want to send the notification in. So th these are the costings, and as you can see, it's pretty low. So let's just compare and uh, sum up the video. Uh, the difference between servers and serverless again. This is fixed cost, a typo. Uh, service will have a fixed cost and in serverless we'll pay as much as we use as seen in the costing. We just need to pay for a number of requests that we make. That is for one lakh requests we need to pay two dollars. If we use less then we need to pay less. Managing servers is again a big headache. We need an engineer who need to manage the server basically whatever if some there are errors he needs to put up the server and all those things in serverless cloud providers manage the server so we don't need to do uh, anything for that matter and third thing is handling errors and retries in serverless setup uh, we have self-managed retries in this case uh, we had uh, aws sns that can manage retries gracefully and basically all the providers can and the final point is we can have downtime in servers uh, it could be any issues in serverless, we are going to have no downtime as AWS and other cloud providers almost have a 100% uptime. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.